Yeah. So was that, was yeah. that pressure? Were you like, did you ever like eat ice cream and feel like, oh my god, feel guilty? Like the <laughs> No, I mean, I, I think I knew that I was a part of a story that was much bigger than myself, and um, that I had a, a big responsibility on my shoulders to be a part of telling the story. So anytime I, I was tempted with a, a Twinkie, I just thought about the boys and, uh, and uh, put it down. The hardest thing was probably cooking for the kids because, you know, I mean, the first thing you want is a chicken nugget and french fries, you know, yeah. so, not that that's what I always think I did. Right? And um, how did your kids and your family react to that? Like, the, how, I don't know how old they are, but the, when Well, I prepared them really, I prepared them way in advance. I talked to a professional, so I know how to do that. But they're, they're um, you know, they're hard on me, man. Just, uh, and I think they just have that kid imagination. Because I think they were expecting me to look like a pancake or something. Because even after I, in the last month, I spent away from them. I own very monastic and away from that family. But, um, when they saw me after I lost like 30 pounds, they were like, oh, you're only getting that skinny? What did you do? But they were great about it. Yeah, they were very cool. I'm, yeah, I'm with Speakeasy. I mean, what an amazing performance, and it was really a great movie. Did you manage to uh, see the Broadway revival? Yeah, of course. And, yeah, did you speak to John Benjamin Hickey about that? Uh, John was great. I mean, John's an old friend of mine. Oh, okay, so, great. Uh, he was so sweet and kind and gracious, and about just passing the torch of this role on to me, which meant the world to me, obviously. Um, it alleviated my Christian guilt of getting to play this role that he'd done so beautifully. Yeah. But, um, he's... he's was so genius in the role and uh, was just incredibly gracious with me. The movie is just good. Oh, okay. Well, pleasure right. to meet you. Yeah, you too. It was amazing, especially the day Domo was over time. It was like, it was just one of those times where you feel like you're in the right place at the right time, telling the right story. And to get to see him in that moment is something I'll never forget. Yeah.